Ciao beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. If it's the first time you watch, massive welcome. And then if you're not, thank you so much for coming back. Right, today I'm going to have a little play showcasing the um, Tonic Studio is the Concertina Index Box die set. I have a collection of these dies, so, and I realise I've not done any videos about them yet. So, let's crack on. I um I store these dies um with these magnetic sheets. Uh, they are A4. I got them off Amazon and I will put all the um, affiliate links down below if you guys want to purchase it. I will appreciate if you follow my link. Just so you know guys, Amazon uh, affiliate link, the commission is very like it's literally next to nothing. So um but you know every little help. So I will appreciate if you if you do that. Right, so uh, what is this die? So this die makes you these lovely concertina albums. And what I like about the Tony Studio dies that on the back you got quite a lot of inspirations. So you got all these little images which are going to show you one, you know, step by step. So the box you just get this. Of course, um, it doesn't come in a magnetic sheet as I said, but it just come like that, full of tape. And then what I did, I simply peel it off. I like strain the bin and then I attach to my magnetic sheet that it's easy to store. Also in the packaging you get an acetate which I will put that on top and then it goes in my folder and inside you get the, like, the instructions to show you what to do and how to assemble the concertina box. So before I do that and I decorate my box I just want to show you all the elements that you get with this set. Okay, so let's start from the main die. Okay, and I've got all my little bits and pieces in here, which I'm going to show you as we get along. So the main body of your die is this one. Okay, so this is a gigantic piece. To, um, I have used the A4, not A4, the largest, um, oh God, big shot uh i'm not sure but it looks like i'm sure this will go through your normal um big shot i use my large one because it's just it's quicker for me because i die cut all different pages so with this die here you get this one okay so you get the main pages of your album and then i'll show you in just a minute how you glue it and fold it and all that okay so you've got one of these then also you get this cut, this die set here, which you can put it in there and that will die cut these. So you get, again, the main body with the little window inside. Also on here, I don't know if you guys can see that, did you get these two dice here on each side? That will create either a gap or this sort of line dot, line dot sort of motive in there, okay? So you've got a choice of those two. Let me just put this in there so I know it's easy to follow. Bear with me, let me get this out of the way. Okay, so I'll show you that, show you that, and then I'll show you that. Then also you get this die here. Which die cut this panel. Okay. The detail of this is amazing. And I can tell you guys, expensive dies cut is so beautiful. You can totally, totally see the difference. So how are you going to use this? So you can use this as a layer to your main element in there. So I've done in white because it's so easy to show you on camera um, but you can make this in another color which I will do in just a second I will show you everything um, so that can layer that okay then you got what I've done in here in this element you get two of this side panel here let me see if I can get it without lifting it but probably don't so you get two of those 
and I'll show you in just a sec. So those two side panels here will make either all these dots there, so you can put a ribbon through. And in fact, it shows you here on the packaging. See here, you get all these dots there. So you get a choice of all the dots like I've done in here. See there, or which is this one there. Or you get a choice of just two dots, two gaps in there, which again, you can put a ribbon through. Okay, so you've got a choice. So, so far, you get all the kind of your pages, your compartments, your little envelopes, if you want to call it like that. Okay, so I'm going to put them on this side. Then you get six of this lovely embellishment. Okay, so they are uh, little tabs. It says special things. Cherished laces. Dates. Index. Recipes, which I think is quite sweet. And memories. So you can use these tabs here, this little um, dead you can put on the front or either on each page. Okay, so you can see there, you got these lovely labels. There, this one it says dates, dates recipes and so on so you can make this with each one of them can have his own little tab okay see oh yeah look these are reminders recipes etc okay so that's the lab that's the tabs then you get the actual tabs they got inside your little cards okay so in here an example of this is all if you create like a planner each one of those will be a month and then you use them to store i don't know your birthday cards or um i don't know names and people's birthdays and such so they are so easy to make so how they made on here you've got this die then i'm hoping you can see on camera you've got three sides that cut and this side on the top won't cut. So you're only gonna cut the three sides there. And you get four of these tabs, which you, once you cut them, you can just put through your die machine and that will create your four. And I got them in here. One. So you get one on the right, then one kind of like straight after, then one on the left and one straight after the left. So you get four. So when you put them all together, you got your four tabs. Okay. I think they're really, 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 really clever, really good. So that's your four tabs. Then also you get this one here. So you get two more die so you get another square die that you can layer on top of that so let's say you can have a, a black sort of tab there and then maybe like a white another piece of white card and then you layer it on top and also you get a rectangle piece that will cut and i get you some example here so you get one to create a window like that or you can create a window vertically or horizontally it's totally up to you yeah i've just done one each so you guys can see it the differences okay you see so that's that and that's the plain plain card and also as i said you get so that's the main that's the square that you can have to layer in and again the note you could probably see white and white this will fit perfectly inside and then i use this embellishment here 
there so you get that little interesting design okay look how pretty would that look i mean it's white on white so it's not very dramatic but you can play with colors and textures but i think it's really pretty okay so you get all the little labels there and then last i want to show you you get two of those this little tag i think it's really pretty but again you can use it as a as a label like that and then you get the main label which will cut this one here and then again you can layer them up the good things about this dice guys that you got infinitive options of layering okay so you can do literally anything so and then again the index you die cut that and then you put this inside T tiny bit of washi tape on each side put it through and then you get this little ones here okay so that's the main parts of the set okay guys so i'm going to show you how i put it together okay so what you do is simply fold it in a cosentina way so mountain valley mountain mountain valley mountain and that will create the zigzag and then we fold that I've got a texture paper, so this is actually quite thick. But as you can see, it takes no time. Okay, so we fold that and then we fold the base and the bottom as well. And what we do, we simply put some double side tape or glue, whatever you guys prefer. I find it easier with double side tape because when you, although the glue gives you that extra time to move it, but the i find the, for this sort of project dry adhesive works best because it don't alter the structure of the paper so oh, been a bit short there so when you glue it all together it won't do you know sometimes when you use wet glue it just the paper gets a bit soggy and we don't want that so you can see my I've got the smaller double side tape but it's on the other it's on the opposite, opposite side of the room and I simply can't be bothered to get up so <laughs> sorry uh, so this would do so we do double side tape on here on those two sides and then we glue it together okay so you start from the top there and then you work your way on the bottom now if you do that that's easy okay so one side done got some tape on the table and then we do this side so always start from the top find it easier and then you work your way on the back now you're probably better than me doing this job but when you're filming everything goes wrong or it takes more time that it will normally take when you're not filming but you get the gist done simple as that and then you just press it and that's your pocket so what i've done for the rest and i'll show you in just three seconds a distressed only because I'm using some white cardstock, but I will do another project and I'm going to use some craft paper and some acetate and create like little windows. So I've got some lovely ideas. So that's that. Yeah, I think I've done it. Just there. Okay.
Right, so I've done it. So what you do then, so I attach the all these little bags one to another and then you get the concertina. So that will attach there. If we put tape there. You can go on and on and on and make like three millions of those but look at that look how cute that is okay so i've done these little tabs there so i'm going to use this as a storage storage for my ephemeras look how pretty that is and I made, because um, this is the one that I use without the hole, so I punched that and I'm going to put some ribbon through. So you see it stays like this, like a proper concertina. And what you do, you can get a leaves and close it, but look how pretty that is. So, got a little present for you. I've made a uh, two, four, six, eight, ten little tabs for you to enjoy this is our royalty free images so i put them in i think it's nine it's nine and a half centimeters because i measured it before i made them yeah no sorry eight and a half centimeters which in inches are literally almost about four inch so you've got that one you've got the newspaper you got the octopus you got the black cat i love them so sassy then we got that i love the jamaican and then we got the fishes okay so i made this for you guys to enjoy the royalty free uh, you don't have to use for this project you can create your own tabs so or you can use for anything that you like this is available on my facebook group as usual so if you go to my files on the tab you click on files and you see all my freebies and you can just download it if you're not on facebook there is a link down below that will take you straight to my newsletter and you get this on a weekly basis straight to your email box okay so how pretty is this i really really like it i hope you guys liked it too um it's white because i thought it would show better on camera but you can make this is any colors any style anything that you like if you like this project please give it a big thumbs up with some vintage photo distress ink i will appreciate it and thank you so much for watching guys and for all your constant love and support it looks it means a lot to me guys Thank you so much again for watching. Have a lovely day and until next time, stay safe and well.